Joining me today is Leilani Wells, and she is a visibility strategist and marketing expert. So of course, you know, we're going to be talking about how to grow your side hustle by increasing your visibility. But before we get into the conversation, I must give Leilani a moment to shine. You tell us more about yourself, anything you'd like us to know. And thank you so much for being here with me today. Take it away. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much, CJ, for having me. I appreciate, you know, just you inviting me here today. I'm very excited to be here in front of your audience. And uh, so a little bit about me. I'm a visibility strategist and marketing expert. What I do is I help people get seen so that they can increase their profits, their visibility, and just really experience more joy within their business. And, uh, you know, I have so many different ways that I do what I do. Um, a lot of the focus obviously is on social media and social media marketing these days. Um, and then a lot of times we think about that so much, we get lost in, should I do Facebook? Should I do Instagram? Should I do LinkedIn? Like, what should I do? And we neglect the obvious, which is maybe sometimes we just pick up the phone and talk to someone mm. and we gain a connection. Maybe we need to do a speaking gig or get on a podcast. Maybe you can even do something old school, like mail a letter to the right person. And so that's my favorite part and aspect of what I do is really getting to the nitty gritty and down to making people understand or helping people to understand visibility is about communication, communicating what you do, who you are and getting in front of the right people. Okay. And before I, I already have like 12 questions I want to ask you, <laughs> but before we get into it, I'm also very curious as to how you got into the field, this field of being mm. a visibility um, strategist and just marketing expert. And I love asking the question of what is your transition story, your employee to entrepreneur story? And if the two of them tie together, perfect. Tell me more. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for asking. Um, so Goodness. Uh, so I have been working since I was a teenager <laughs> and I like literally found ways to sell things because I was underage and couldn't, you know, get the job. So what I would right. do is, you know, literally understand like, oh, knock on a neighbor's door and maybe they'll let me mow their lawn or do something. Okay. And then I realized this is like how you can really create your own wealth in your own situation and sales at such a young age that that's every career that I wound up stepping into was that from then and beyond. And so around, um, let's see, I was around 31 when I had my son and became a single mom and I was working around the clock and a lot of the money is going to the sitters and, and, you know, all the things and, um, just taking care of, you know, all the bills. And I got very little time, very little family time. And I was like, this has to, this has to shift. What do I do? How can I get in front of more people? I already added a business, but I wasn't getting in front of enough people. So when I was at my day job, I would go and instead of going on breaks, like everyone else, you know, I wasn't smoking a cigarette or eating food. I would stay at my desk mm -hmm. and I was friending people on Facebook like crazy. Facebook was my go-to. That was the one that was out. I was right off of my space time, right? It was Facebook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I had my desk keyboard and I had this little keyboard that attached to your cell phone at the time. So I would double time it. I'd be friend, friend, friend here, friend, friend, friend there on two different keyboards at once. And it became so obvious that I was good socially communicating that business owners were coming to me for social media advice and understanding how do I get in front of more people. So I kind of learned business like flipped, you know, from the people I was helping become visible um, because I understood how that would that, that would benefit me getting in front of people. And they understood the foundational aspects, uh, which was really exciting. And then as we added in more platforms, I learned those platforms. I was an expert for uh, people with their Instagram accounts for a while back. Um, and then that um, wound up making it to where I could be home and make mm -hmm. my own hours and, you know, eventually create a lifestyle, which leads me to be able to be at my son's soccer games with him and do everything yeah. that I'd planned to be doing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm busy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I'm not busy. perfect. I don't have it dialed in where, you know, I have every person on my team that I possibly need. So I have all the perfect hours and everything looking perfect. No, it doesn't look like that. However, it does look like I get to uh, really create more of what I want than I would have if I stayed in that nine to five situation that right, really was yeah. like a nine to 10. Cause after I got off that job, I had to work something else afterwards, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And you know what, as you're sharing that, um, the one thing that comes up when I talk to uh, my clients is, and I ask them, like, what is what does this mean to you? Like, why do you want to leave the nine to five? Why do you want to become your own boss? And I feel like a lot of people might think it's, you know, they want to be making whatever they want to make, which is definitely one of the top reasons, but the main, main reason is just being in control of their time. So you just saying you being able to go, you know, to your, your kids soccer games and being able to do those things. That is the main reason why they want to be in control of their time. And so segue time. I love mm-hmm. a good segue. Okay. I always say that. <laughs> I love a good segue. Yeah. And we're talking today about visibility, increasing your visibility. And you are actually my first um, video recording uh, podcast guest. It's all usually audio, but to celebrate, commemorate seven years, I said, let me switch to video and look who's going to be my first mm-hmm. guest is the visibility expert. But that's where the segue comes in. When people hear visibility, they're thinking, I got to show up online. I got to show up online. That's the way to improve my visibility, increase my visibility. I got to be on social media. I got to do this, 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 and this. So my question is, what are the common misconceptions or mistakes people make when it comes to visibility? Because I heard you talk about making phone calls and and sending snail mail, as it's called back in the day, back in our time too. (laughs) So what is the common like misconceptions or mistakes people make when they hear you talk about visibility and and getting seen? Yeah. You know, it's interesting uh, that how many people come to me about marketing and they're so flustered and um, not flustered when they come to me. I, I'll just say what I'm recognizing out there before they come to me. Right, right, yeah. So I notice a lot of people think that it's easy. Mm. <laughs> and at the same time as they're experiencing how hard it is. Right. So they're like, oh, I'll just have my kid do my posting or my nephew or I'll just, you know, do this or that. And they think that, you know, they just put up a post. They don't know like what's all involved when it comes to the technical side and all the psychological stuff that goes yeah. in, into all of it. And the time, like just for you to put out one podcast episode, for instance, like it's easier. This is why I'm so grateful when um, people invite me to be a guest on their podcast, because I have a podcast. So yeah. I know that when I'm a guest, that's easy for me. And you're graciously inviting me to be in front of your audience. Right. And yep. you're going back and doing all the editing all of the things and sharing all about it and emailing, whatever it is you intend to do with this, there's a lot of work involved. Now for me, when I guest, I show up, I'm like, of course I'll share it because you did all of the legwork, right? Because I know that, but other people, they don't know what's involved in, in what it takes to be visible. And then the the second thing is, is that the, with, with the, I can do it myself, or let me just pick an expert um, to look at and try and mimic them is they're, they're trying to be the expert and pick apart the expert and pick and choose, but they don't know why that expert is doing what they're doing. Like you, I can't go and do what Beyonce does. Cause I'm not Beyonce. Right. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> right. like, like there, you know, there's, there's a strategy here. There are different things that we can each be doing. And when you speak with the strategist and when you understand what's right for you, then you do what's right for you. You don't just like go and say, oh, that person looks really cool. Let me copy them and make it happen. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> if only, if only, right? right? <laughs> because my my last, last week's episode is I was celebrating my birthday and I shared um, like just how to create a content strategy that's aligned with your values you show for your business. And one of the things I did mention is it's not just about like, schlepping a couple things together, throwing it on Instagram <laughs> or Facebook, and then hoping it goes viral. Oh, gosh, don't get me started viral. You know? <laughs> and there is really is a lot more to that. So mm. you mentioned that people think it's easy, like they're just trying to like almost mimic the expert. But I hear the opposite. I hear a lot of times they're like, CJ, I don't, I don't know like how to show up authentically. And there's just so much noise online and how do I stand out and how do I know what people want to see from me Mm -hmm. and how do I, and it's just, so they, they get, of course, it's a lot of mindset uh, in that too. (laughs) So how do they overcome those, those little obstacles that they will encounter when you're yeah. dealing with so, them as a visibility issue. No, great question. So they, it's both. They think it's easy because they've, they've tricked themselves because they know it's hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. You know, right, right. Yeah, they yeah. know there's more to it. 
but they don't want to face it because they know there's more to it. So they're like, if this is easy, I'll just do this. And then they go off in that direction instead of switching our mindsets to say, you know what, let me just go talk to an expert because instead of spending two years wasting my time on a Facebook boost or Instagram boost on something that's not even optimized. And how do I even know that that's where my target demographic is and throwing thousands of dollars out the window. Maybe I should talk to Leilani and she'll tell me, Oh, I can just do a podcast like CJ because I can just talk and I like to talk, you know, and people like to listen to me and I have value and expertise and that's the best direction to go. Right. And so I really find that I can put people at ease by giving them the steps that are right for them and showing them that the reason why they think there's a specific way to do this and they're freaked out by it is because they're still in that corporate mindset of this is the way it's done and that's that. And they don't understand like entrepreneurship is because you stepped into entrepreneurship because you're a creator, you're an Mm -hmm. innovator, you're, you're, you're tapped into you and your purpose. And it's scary because right mm. when you come out the womb, you're told that you're supposed to be a robot and do everything that you're right. do, 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 do. We do this and you go to the restroom at this time and you eat at this time. And you, no, like everything we need is in us that we need to know. And we can, we can tap into all the resources by talking it out with the right people, by collaborating, by hiring correctly, by doing all of these things. And that's what's going to give us ease rather than saying, you know what? let me idolize this, this person over here that looks really cool and just try and copy it. Um, you know, and then slow yourself down or let me just like not do anything at all. I find this a lot. People are like all or nothing. They're like, I'm scared. I'm nervous. So I can't do social media at all. Well, what would it look like if you had 200 people in front of you right now sitting in front of you in real life, but people in front of you, 200 people on social media, you're like, Oh, I only have 200 people. So I'm not going to do anything. You would never do that in real life. I love that comparison. That you is so never. true. The vanity metrics and the numbers, they get distracted by all of the wrong things. And it's mm-hmm. really, it comes down to how do you want to show up authentically? So you connect with your ideal yeah. client. So it goes back to who Who's your ideal client? <laughs> yeah. Who wants to see your stuff? Who needs yeah. to, whose podcast do you need to get on to? So when you are sharing your expertise, you're offering some serious value. So mm. talking about, we talk about visibility, but then you talk about podcasts, which is audio. And then you mentioned phone calls and, and snail mail. Mm. What are some like lesser known methods that people can implement when it comes to improving or increasing their visibility? Mm. Well, I used to run call centers. So I always okay. go, I always go back to the phone. I always am like, because here's the thing there's, so we want to understand first off, social media is communication. We want to mm-hmm. look at it as real life. When people say it's fake, this and that, well, look, you don't go out of your house looking a wreck. You don't invite people over unless you clean up. So it's the same thing. It's transferring online. There's nothing different. Let's stop with the separation, right? Mm-hmm. Now we understand there's layers to communication. If we are, say, for instance, you and I are talking face to face. If we were just talking on the phone, you wouldn't see my body language, right? So Mm. now we have another layer of really understanding what we're talking about. You and I, we're closer to each other. I can see like and understand like you look like you're calm. You look like you are enjoying the conversation. You look like you're having a good time. Right, you're smiling. Right, right. Yeah. I see all that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, If we're on the phone, I don't see that. But um, if we're texting, I don't hear that. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so we keep going and upping at levels of how can I get closer to that highest level of communication? And for me, if I can get you on the phone or Zoom, and I've asked you to get on a phone call or Zoom, then you're going to work with me because you and I are really going to have an understanding of like how we can really soar together. Because there's, I, you know, we can communicate at the, the greatest capacity, the greatest level. Now, uh, it starts, though, with us communicating really clearly in all the other ways before I can get you there on the phone. So when I communicate on social media, 
and I'm excited about something, I won't just maybe put an exclamation point. I may put a smiley face or a yay face or whatever. So they know, wow, she's excited. They, you know, so I'm always thinking of what can be lost in the sauce, like what can be misconstrued as something else when that layer, that level of communication is missing where they can't see my expression, my tone and my voice, and they don't know. So they can feel as close to me as possible. And then when I then pop into their DMs, which I do after there's been some real authentic communication back and forth on posts. I don't just pop in people's DMs. Yeah. It's natural, right? Kind of like when you're dating up, this is a first date. And then what happens on the second and the third and the, ooh, at the fourth? Oh, okay. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. you know, just be human. And then we can get on the phone and have another conversation. Yeah. So yeah. it's really just about getting out of our heads, getting out of our way. It is hard. I know it's, it makes it sound like it's so easy for us to to say that. Right? I'll just get out of your head and get out of your way and show my mind. It'll be fantastic. It'll be amazing. So basically you're saying it's not necessarily when it comes to improving or increasing your visibility, it's not about creating the Instagram account and throwing some posts on there, creating the face. And also, it's not about being on all eight quadrillion platforms. <laughs> no, even either. though you're looking at all my links up there. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Threads too. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. We've got to add threads into the mix too. And it, people, at, a lot of times, it's just they get really overwhelmed with mm -hmm. how do they show up in all this noise online. So what is something that, how do they stand out? When it comes to like understanding, yeah. yes, their branding, but then how do you figure out this is, I want to be able to, of course, I blame most of us want to show up authentically online, Some of us don't want to so much. <laughs> but most of us want to show up authentically online, but even with showing up authentically, how do you, do, what do they need to do in order to understand this is what you need to do in order to stand out? In, the, in that mm. space. Mm -hmm. I think number one, we get to deeply understand ourselves. And so we can start to recognize things we're doing because we ha either have a job or we had a job. And so are we making this decision because um, we think that that's what we're supposed to do? Or are we making this decision because that's what our is going to best serve our ideal client and ourselves to have a joyful business, right? Mm -hmm. And then we get to consult with an expert um, to see if what's right for our business as far as marketing. Um, cause understanding this, like I talked about getting on phone calls, but there is not, there's a method to that. Right. Yeah. Um, and I talk about social media, but like you shared eight, 10 platforms, what, well, do we want to get on a podcast and start our own podcast? Do we, um, want to get on Pinterest because it's going to drive more people to our website and we're selling a lot of things. We have an online shop, you know, what does our business need? And I think that, a lot of times when we are, especially newer to business, we get stuck in this trap of looking at people who've been in business 5, 10, 15, 20 years and comparing ourselves to where they're at without taking into the consideration that we're doing that. We don't watch ourselves. You know, we, we make decisions that are based on what other people are doing and what we're seeing of other people and don't hold ourselves accountable that we're doing that. Like we're accountable for our actions. We're accountable to really look at ourselves and say, oh, I'm looking at my business like some popularity contest and not like what actually is going to get me in front of my buyers. Yeah. And what's going to get me in front of my buyers? Well, my buyers are on Facebook and my buyers are on LinkedIn and my buyers are through podcasting. And I'm on all of these. And I'm talking about me specifically with that, right? right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm on all of these platforms because of what I do specifically. I need to be able to work these platforms for my clients and understand these platforms for my clients. But you won't see me with 5 million followers on Pinterest. You'll see me having a presence on Pinterest. So I know how the algorithm works. So I know how to cater to the other ones that need to be driving people to their website on Pinterest. You'll so understanding ourselves and having that conversation, that strategy conversation is, is key. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understanding yourself. It starts with you. It's your business. Mm -hmm. You're the one putting yourself out there. You're the ones trying to get seen. See that plug? I was mm -hmm. you. <laughs> You're the one trying to get seen awesome. and you want to, <laughs> you want people to know what, uh, about you. So mm -hmm. it's really understanding. And then what do you want people, what do you want people to know about you? What is necessary for people to understand and feel connected to you? So they want to buy from you. So they're just opening their wallets and throwing all their money right? at you, right? <laughs> just generating all those leads. So what is some actionable steps that someone can take to really be able to consistently promote their, their brand or their business and show up? authentically to get mm. seen um, in the online space? What are some simple things that they should bear, keep in mind when they're, they're trying to figure this out? Mm, I love that. So the first actionable I would say is to first figure out what platform brings you joy. Um, like if you were just only on social media, just to hang out with your people, which top two would you have? Pick right. your top two, write that down, put it on a posty. And those are the only ones you should be concerning yourself with to start. Okay. Because you can be visible anywhere. Your people are on all these platforms. You know, um, you're, you're, you're on YouTube using it as, 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 as a search engine, looking for some answer to something, watching a video. Um, you're on, you may not like Twitter, but when there's big news, you know, that you want to see what someone said or whatever, you're probably going to go to Twitter, you know, you're probably going to go to Facebook all the time because it's a hub for all things. So just understanding mm -hmm. which one do you like? Your people are everywhere. Yeah. Um, and I know that your audience um, is primarily newer entrepreneurs, correct? I, I think, yes, I think yeah. that's the case. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, what I love about newer entrepreneurs, and I, and I try to make sure that I'm, even though I typically work with a little bit more established entrepreneurs, I right. love continuing to uh, make sure that I work with newer entrepreneurs in creative ways because they really keep me lit up. Um, newer entrepreneurs just keep that fire in me. Um, they keep me excited. Uh, they keep me reminding me of why I do what I do. They keep me just in that joy space that I crave, you know? Um, and so I have a course called the breakthrough success formula that I designed specifically for newer entrepreneurs okay. so that I always have a way to, to show up for them and then I go live in that Facebook group that they have. I have a 68 page workbook and it really helps them build a foundation, the core aspects of how to really not make these um, missteps that I made and, you know, kind of skip past a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm, and it's really mm -hmm. great. It's 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 such a it's a low one time fee and they get everything and the group, which is, you know, permanent until I decide like one day I, I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe years down the road, you know. Yeah, yeah. But so, yeah, that's what I love. Um, and, um, yeah, I forgot what the question was. I just kind of <laughs> went off into happy la la land. Actionable <laughs> steps, but you know what? Yeah. I love that you did that because uh, segues, right? Yeah. So I had asked you actionable steps that they can take to consistently show up and promote and maximize yeah. visibility. And you tied in, uh, is it a course you said or a program? It's, yeah, that... it's a little bit of both actually. That's, okay. you know, I found that the course it's, 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 I think 27 modules. I just added another. So I think we're at 27 modules and the workbook has them like it's a printable workbook where you can look, work along with it. But what's key is that to work with me, it costs a certain amount for this. When you're just getting started in entrepreneurship, that may not be there. And they have access to me in the Facebook group. And I go live and answer questions in there as well. Mm. So yeah. So it's not like, Oh, buy another course and maybe I won't look at it. No. You're going to look at that course. <laughs> You're going to do the work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going to be in that Facebook group watching you saying, hey, you know, and we're going to be talking about it. And and another actionable step, I'll tie into that okay. um, and go back to that. So the first one was figure out what you love or like as far as social media um, uh, platforms. And the second one is collaborate. This um, has added the most success to my business is build yeah. relationship building. And intentional relationship building, not 
networking, here's my business card and shoving your stuff down someone's throat and they're doing the same to you, but really seeing who is that aligned collaborative partner or partners and building those relationships and growing together in entrepreneurship. I have women that I've grown together with throughout the years, um, and we have just really soared because of our connections with each other and men too. So really just um, making sure that you're collaborating throughout your journey and you're making those connections. Never, ever, 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 ever want to be a solo entrepreneur there's nothing, there's no like, oh, I did it by myself. I did it by, no, you did not. You will not. Okay. Bill Gates and, and uh, okay. all those dudes and Elon Musk, you think they, they have, have no employees, please. Like they got right. staff for everything. They got every, they're the thinker and the delegator. That's what they do. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I always say it takes a village. It takes mm -hmm. a village to go. I couldn't do it. I could not do no. this alone. I could right? not. <laughs> Absolutely could not do this alone. And I agree, like collaborate, like you don't have to. Yes, your business is your baby. You know it intimately. No one is going to take that away from you. But you don't yeah. have to do all of the heavy lifting yourself. Yes. There are so many opportunities out there to strategically, again, collaborate with the right people. And you'll be amazed at just the, the directions that you can take you take your business in. So that's why I said I like that the, the segue because one of the things I like to ask is what you have coming up. But you have this the the breakthrough formula and the the link is going to be in the show notes. Check it, check it, check it, check it out. The new year before you know it, we're we'll right here and everybody's gonna be thinking again about what do I need to do <laughs> and how do I show up and where do I and all the different questions. Check out the link get connected uh, which with Leilani, learn more from her because I know every time she shows up on my feet, she's brightening up, brightening up my feet. Uh -huh. so you will learn so much from her. But before I let you go, Leilani, I love to ask this question. Yes. Do you have a nugget to share yes. with, with our audience today? Yes. And real Later. quick, it's the breakthrough success formula.com. The breakthrough success formula. The, 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 the breakthrough success formula.com. And uh, yes. So let me now... I should have been prepared with a nugget. <laughs> <laughs> See? The nugget is a breakthrough. My dad would say, drink your cinnamon tea. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, pour into you. Mm. Pour into you. Um, anytime you are on this journey and you are unsure, pause, step back. Nothing's going to crash. Nothing's going to crumble. It's not going to fall apart. It's in those moments and in those times where I figure out my next steps. Yeah. And it just, from there, it just flourishes. So yeah. dial it back, step away, disappear, whatever you need to do. Walk in the woods barefoot. Whatever you like to do and need to do. <laughs> yeah. Pour mm -hmm. into you. That's a perfect way mm -hmm. to end today's convo. Thank you so much for being here with me and sharing your expertise and your light. I appreciate you so very much. And I cannot wait to see what happens in your course, your program, when I'm sure people are going to click the link to check you out. And I'm wishing you continued, continued success. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much, CJ. I appreciate you.